when you're doing your homework in my stat lab I wanted you to be aware of some of the tools that are available to help you learn the material uh, as you're doing the homework over in the upper right hand corner of uh, your homework you should see a question help button if you click on that you'll have a number of resources that you can use to help you uh, with this particular homework problem um, the first one is called help me solve this and it opens up a dialog box and it um, tries to lead you through step by step uh, to solve the problem. This first one says to use a normal sampling distribution both NP and NQ must be greater than or equal to 5. Continue. So begin by calculating N times P. Uh, the P is 0.27 so 0.27 times 100, I'm going to put that in there, it would be 27. Check answer. Goodness I got that right. Now I've got to calculate in Q and Q is 1 minus P so I'm going to subtract 0.27 from 1 but I'm going to make a mistake on purpose here and call it uh, 0.74 and check answer and it tells me whoops I made a mistake that's not the correct value it gives me a chance to fix it and let's see uh, 0.27 would be 0.7 three if I can think yeah I got it right the second time but it will lead you through step by step which is a neat way to solve a problem uh, one thing about it though is it's it's uh, a little bit time consuming because you've got to answer these questions right before you can progress but it will take you through step by step I kind of like to use this next one view an example because it moves faster uh, it, it gives you a similar problem, slightly different values in this case. You just click continue and it will do the work for you and kind of lead you through. So if you want to uh, use the uh, show me an example before you actually tackle your problem, uh, I, I personally find that as a, a better way to learn. But you can just go through step by step and it will solve this similar problem for you until you get through to the end. That's a little bit faster and that you might consider using that. The next is the textbook. And what it does, I'll cut this out because it takes a little bit long sometimes for the virtual to open, the virtual textbook. When the uh, virtual textbook opens, the ebook opens, it will be at the section in the text that has to do with that particular problem. And all the information you need to solve that problem would be on that page or one of the the few following pages. So it takes you right to the right place in the text, which is pretty neat. The next thing is StatCrunch. Um, that we've talked about in other places in this video, how to use StatCrunch, but this just opens up StatCrunch uh, and so you can jump right into solving the problem. Tech Help is pretty neat for some things. Um, it brings up an, a dialogue and it's got information on uh, how to use StatCrunch, the TI, Excel, Minitab, and SPSS, various uh, statistical packages for, for uh, solving this problem. Um, it um, For the uh, TI here, it doesn't jump to the specific thing you need for the problem. It's just got all the various little um, tutorial videos for solving various things with um, the TI. Uh, I'm guessing, let's see, there's normal, normal distribution. So you might use one of those. Uh, that's pretty neat, though. The StatCrunch has similar things. Unfortunately, the only uh, link here is to Excel with the Excel stat add-in, which we don't use in this course. Uh, so that's not as helpful as it could be. And if you are using Minitab or SPSS, it's got information there as well. So that's, that's fairly helpful. Next thing is Ask My Instructor. And you should really try to solve it yourself with um, Show Me an Example and Help Me Solve This before you use uh, 
uh, contact your instructor. But what it does, it opens up an email form. It references the specific question that you're asking about, and you can just type in the, your question that you're stuck on, uh, click on send, and it will send your instructor an email uh, with a link. So when the, construct, the instructor gets your question, they just click on the link and it takes them right back into your homework where you're working and they can uh, give you the help that you need. So that's pretty neat as well. You can print the uh, particular problem. These other things, uh, if, if you wanted to annotate your text with a comment uh, about the, a particular problem and how you solved it, you can use that. Or you can click on Ask the Publisher, which probably wouldn't be very helpful because it's going to be a little bit slower than asking the instructor which is going to be slower than using view an example and help me solve this. But these tools are really helpful as you go through the homework.